Without financial goals and a specific plan to meet them, we leave our financial future to chance. Taking control of our finances creates a path to a successful financial future and a sense of empowerment that can improve nearly every aspect of our lives. What does the term financial well-being mean to you? While financial well-being is a personal definition, it consists of two primary factors. The first factor is security. Knowing we are prepared for the future helps provide peace of mind. Present security includes the ability to pay our monthly bills as well as handle unexpected expenses such as home or auto repairs. Future security includes paying off our home and building a sufficient retirement fund. The second factor is lifestyle, having the freedom to enjoy life, whatever that means to us as an individual. It may involve a white picket fence, a beachfront property, pursuing a hobby, or enjoying a dream vacation. We value the financial freedom of to pursue our goals and dreams. The key is to find a balance between enjoying our life today and preparing for tomorrow. To put it simply, we must teach ourselves to be tomorrow-focused instead of today-focused. We must make conscious choices about money and spending that support not only our needs and wants today, but also prepare us for the future. Here's a simple four-step process for taking control of our finances and becoming tomorrow-focused. The first step is to assess the now. Taking a solid look at your current financial status can be similar to stepping on the scale at the doctor's office. Avoidance meets reality. But just like that medical checkup, it's important to do routine financial checkups to see where you stand in comparison to your goals. If you've been in control of your finances, assessing the now will be a validation that you are on the right path. But if your money has been in control of you, it might be a wake-up call. In step two, we look into the future. This is the fun part taking some time to decide what we want in life, not necessarily in terms of dollars, but in terms of dreams, inspires us to take control of our money. Step three is see where your money goes. Unless we're carefully watching our pennies, we typically don't know where all of our money goes. And as we have more disposable income, it's easy to slip into the habit of spending more. Tracking our spending for a month provides a total picture of how we spend our money. And finally, the most important step is to create a spending plan. This is where dreams meet reality. Developing a spending plan ensures you save and spend your money thoughtfully and purposefully. It's a map to achieving your financial goals. Whether it's a budget app, spreadsheet, or paper and pen, good record keeping is imperative to keep track of how you actually spend your money. Commitment is the most important factor of any financial plan. Here are a few final tips for success. All family members must be involved and working towards the same goals. Even children should be included in helping to meet the family goals. Simply cutting back isn't enough. Specific goals must be set, along with a plan on how to reach them. Goals must be gradual and realistic to avoid burnout before reaching them. Think of your savings as a monthly bill. Set up an automatic transfer to savings or have part of your paycheck direct deposited to savings. This gets your money out of sight and out of mind. Follow these four steps and you'll ensure you control your money rather than the other way around.